Minecraft 1.20 is the next Minecraft update, and with it, we can expect many new features. We can expect new mobs from a furnace golem and a muddy pig, or we can even see some new biomes. So here are 20 Minecraft updates that may be in Minecraft 1.20. Minecraft has many structures, so over time, players have recognized how these structures can be pretty lackluster sometimes. So in the next Minecraft update, we could possibly see a revamp of some of the structures in the game. For example, for the desert and jungle temples, more traps and loot could be added to make the structures much more dangerous. With every Minecraft update, we typically get some new mobs. So far this update, we've gotten the brand new camel and sniffer. Though, why don't we add some more mobs? For example, we can add mobs like raccoons, which can steal food from your chest and barrels. We can also see some strong elephants, gorillas, and even some adorable penguins. But what if we talk about some mobs from Minecraft's forgotten game? That being Minecraft Earth. Although Minecraft Earth shut down in 2021, the game had many mobs which could possibly be added into Minecraft. One of these mobs is the furnace golem, which is made by making an iron golem, but by placing a furnace in the middle of it. This mob's face would ignite on fire whenever it would see a hostile mob, which would have the chance to set the mob on fire. The mob would also be able to set its surroundings on fire as well. On the other side, we have the adorable muddy pig, which is a different variant of a pig. This mob happens when a regular pig collides with mud. This Minecraft update, we could possibly expect a biome to be revamped. It's already confirmed that the desert, badlands, and savannah will be getting a revamp at some point, which may happen in 1.20. Though what about the other biome? For example, the under the radar mushroom biome could get some brand new updates like the Cluxroom mob, which is another mob from Minecraft Earth, which would spawn in mushroom biomes and would leave a trail of mushrooms. Although biomes are mostly above ground, let's not forget that biomes can also be underground as well. In the next update, we could possibly see more diverse biomes and caves. For example, we could see a glowing blue cave with cool lighting, or very icy and cold caves. This would add much more diversity into the cave system. Though that's barely stretching the surface of these updates, as the further we go in the video, the more insane these updates actually get. Next, let's talk about something that has been confirmed for 1.20, that being armor trims. Armor trims are patterns that you can put on your armor to show off all the places you've been to. There are over 11 different patterns and 10 different colors you can use on armor trims. The way you get the patterns for the armor is by exploring the world and finding a structure with a trim inside of it. For example, you could get a special plate from an ocean monument and a woodland mansion just to name two examples. For the color, you'd have to get a different type of ore. For example, if I'd want a yellow trim, I'd have to get some gold to craft it. Armor trims are definitely cool and perfectly shows off exploration in Minecraft. Though many people have been asking for the ability to make armor glow. How this would work is by adding a glowing ink sac on the armor, the trim will glow. This would be awesome for some Minecraft laser tag. If it isn't obvious, 1.20 is somewhat focused on exploration, with camels being added for transportation and armor trims added to encourage exploration more. So to help with your travels, Minecraft should add a backpack to the game. The backpack item would add extra slots to your inventory. Although it's already likely that bundles will finally come this update, backpacks would help exploration a lot and would fit this update extremely well. For a long time now, a ton of people have been asking for the end dimension to get a brand new update. It would make sense for the end update to happen in 1.20, as this update again is looking to focus on exploration a lot, and also the end dimension is the last dimension to have not gotten a revamp yet. So what can we expect in the end update? Well, I think it should be stated that the end should be kept barren as it's what it's supposed to be. So the things we could most likely see is a revamp of end cities to make them more difficult, more dangerous mobs of exploring the end even more high, and possibly one or two structures added to the end. But something that many people don't know is that when the end gets updated, Minecraft is considering adding a new or to the game, that being radium. Radium would be a brand new ore, which if you stand near some radium, you could actually get some radiation for a certain amount of time. You could also probably craft some pretty good stuff with radium as well. Radium would definitely be a pretty cool addition to the game. Archaeology is another update that may appear in 1.20. You can locate excavation sites pretty much everywhere in the world, which is how this thing works. In order to expose the secrets of these old structures, a new tool would be added called the brush, which could be created and used to brush away debris. You can find many unique things in these structures, such as a diamond block, but if you're not careful, you may risk damaging them, which could possibly make you lose them. Additionally, while digging, you may across a brand new item called Ceramic Shards. This is an old artifact that can provide light on the history of the structure you are currently visiting. You can also create a clay pot with these shards, which would essentially give you the ability to put the jigsaw pieces together and understand the story of these artifacts. The Illusioner is another mob that could be included in 1.20. Although it cannot be found naturally, this mob is still present in the game and may still be generated via commands. The Illusioner wasn't fully included in the game for unknown reasons, but this is most likely due to how strong the mob was. The Illusioner, which can attack players with a bow and spells, was intended to spawn alongside Illagers. The Illusioner can also see through barriers, blind players, and also summon copies of itself. All of which would make raids and woodland mansions definitely much more harder to defeat. Hopefully we'll finally be able to see the Illusioner be fully in the game in 1.20 because it definitely deserves it. In 2018, a mob vote was held that had five mobs nominated for it. That being pandas, alligators, monkeys, white-lipped deer, and white dolphins. Now you probably didn't know about this mob vote because it was only 
held in China. And the mob that won this vote was the panda. Though personally, all five of these mobs would be amazing additions to the game. Alligators would be an awesome mob to add to swamps, monkeys would be an amazing addition to jungles, white lipped deer could be good for taigas, and the white dolphin would be a cool variant of the normal dolphin. Like I said, all these mobs are great, and I don't really see a reason not to add these mobs to Minecraft. So hopefully we could see at least one of them being added to Minecraft. You know something that I also don't see a reason not to do is not being subscribed to me. I spend a lot of time on these videos and if you subscribe it'd mean a lot to me and helps me out a lot. This next update is definitely a stretch though with the theme of exploration I think it has a slight chance of coming in 1.20. This is the sky dimension. You'd theoretically enter this dimension by sleeping and there'd be a small chance that you could wake up in the sky. This update was supposed to be added a long time ago but was never added and was replaced with the end. Though I think at some point Minecraft may go back and revamp this dimension to make it much more interesting and less like the end. Minecraft has actually shown interest in bringing back the sky slash dream dimension into the game. So this could be the update that this idea is finally brought into Minecraft. Next, we're going to talk about PvP. PvP has always had two versions of it, that being 1.8 PvP and 1.9 plus PvP. So to make the best of both worlds, Minecraft was developing a merge of the two updates a long time ago, though ever since we haven't really heard much about it. And a good amount of people actually like the combat changes in this concept update. A PvP revamp is confirmed to happen at some point, and it's definitely possible for it to come in 1.20. Speaking of PvP, let's talk about enchants. Some new enchants would be really cool to see in 1.20. For example, the cleaving enchant could finally be added. If you don't know what cleaving is, it is pretty much sharpness but for axes, which would be a great addition to the game. We'd also see many more unique enchants, like a pickaxe enchant that automatically smelts ores, or an enchant for your boots that make you jump higher. There are many different possibilities for different enchants. I'd love to hear your guys' ideas in the comments. The next update is quite obscure, though this will definitely make sense for this update. It'd be cool to see even more travel methods being added to Minecraft. For example, a grappling hook would be super cool, and the ability to swing around the Minecraft world would be an awesome way to travel, or possibly a paraglider, which you'd be able to craft and would be a slower yet cheaper version of the elytra. New travel methods would definitely encourage many players to travel around the world. Another thing that's in the game files but it's not currently being used is the good and bad luck effects. These were added in the 1.19 update as an experimental feature, and affected how good of loot you'd get from structures. So if you had good luck, you'd get extra good loot from these structures, with bad luck having the opposite effect. Now this feature never really fully got implemented into the game, so hopefully in 1.20 you will be able to see it in action. Going back to the topic of dimensions, although most likely not coming to 1.20 due to what Mojang has said in the past, we will most likely see an update to the deep dark where some portal-like structure in the middle actually opens up and we can light it up and we can enter a brand new dimension. This dimension would be the most dangerous Minecraft dimension, though it would probably have lots of weird mobs similar to the Warden and also tons of good loot. Though like I said earlier, Mojang doesn't want to add any new dimensions until the free we already have are revamped. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for all the recent support as it means so much to me. Many of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed yet, so if you can, please subscribe and leave a like. It would mean the world. It helps me out a lot and it's free. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and have a good day.